evening everybody welcome to tonight's stream this is the 730 game between Wayne and Lee Harris so we should be in for a cracker tonight Wayne Wilgris against Lee Harris so this is our last stream of the day now the reason why this game is going to prove to be quite a big game is because the winner of this goes through to the last 16 because Lee and Wayne are both even on the points in their group they're both tied on the same points so whoever wins this game will go through further into the competition tomorrow which will be the last 16 so big game this so whoever wins is guaranteed their place in the last 16 and they'll be back tomorrow morning playing for their place in the quarterfinal so Wayne of course won this same event last year he beat Martin Shepard in the final so I'm sure he's going to be trying to do the same this year for the second time in a row so first things first just to make sure you can all hear us okay can you just let us know in the comment box just leave a comment and let us know if you can hear us okay please So uh, Jake Leslie just asks, um, what time is the last 16 tomorrow? Well, Jake, we're going to be here. Our first stream tomorrow is going to be 9.30 a.m. That's going to be our first live stream. So that's going to be the first game of the day. And then we're, we're just going to stream all day until we get down to the final. And then the final should be coming up tomorrow evening, about the same sort of time as now but we'll just wait and see a lot of it will just depend on how long the games take so here we go then they've just had their trial ends four up four back so for those of you that don't know Wayne is now in the top 16 he's in the he's now a seeded player so he will be actually playing right here in this arena in about seven or eight weeks time he'll be here in the singles the pairs and the mixed pairs because he's now a seeded player he gets automatic entry into the Scottish Open and also the World Championships here at Potters in January so here we go then So leave a comment and let us know who you're going to be cheering on tonight, Wayne or Lee. Both good players, so this should be a very good game. Well, what a start from Lee. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so as I said, Wayne and Lee are both uh, equal on points in their group. So whoever wins this game will be going through to the next round. 
which will be the last 16 which will be tomorrow It's a good effort. So it looks like Wayne is just one down by the looks of it. So Lee picks up the first end and he gets a one. Uh, good start by Wayne. Oh, a great reply from Lee. That could be the one.
It's hard to say who holds here because from where I'm sat it's very close. I wouldn't like to say Yeah, pace wasn't too bad, it's just the line. So Wayne Wayne might be tempted here to come for that bowl. Just don't know how much pace he's gonna use. Yeah, if if there's a conversion on then Wayne is normally gonna be really positive and what an effort this is. Oh just caught it probably half a bowl half a bowl um yeah great effort though he just pushed it sideways as, as opposed if he was probably half a bowl wider he would have got that uh, great effort so lee picks up another one So 2-0 after two ends to Lee Harris. Great start by Wayne. Uh, good effort by Lee. Uh, he's just pulled up probably about 14 inches. Well, he could have just given that away. No. Wayne is still holding one by the looks of it. That's finished really well there. So by the look of it, Wayne still holds one. Let's see what Lee decides to do with his last bowl. He's reaching in the area.
dear, oh dear. Well, that could have been a bit costly for Wayne. So it looks like Lee is definitely holding now. Now uh, it's very unlucky. Just got the wrong side of it. Another great start by Wayne. Well played by Lee. Great second bowl. Well, he looks fairly close again here, but I think he's just going to pull up. Uh, his line was all over it. So, pulled up about four feet. So what's Wayne going to play here? Yeah, he's playing just inside his inside of Lee's last bowl, and I think he's going to take his own out. No, That's a good ball by Lee. Certainly not wasted there. Well, he's covered the respot to the left, and also he's got the best back. Just depends on connections for Wayne here. Well, would you believe it? So is that just one to Wayne? I think we'll find out in just a second. But yeah, he was. It was a, a good hit. So after four ends, Lee is 3-1 up. Well, another great start by Wayne. He's warming up now. Well, 
Oh, what a reply from Lee. Not played yet. Yes, yeah, definitely the, the shot now. I can see that from here. Wayne is after this, or oh, he's just going to dive across. So welcome everybody to tonight's live stream. This is the last live stream of the day, and the last live stream of the group stages, because tomorrow we go into the last 16, and then quarter final, semi final, and then final. So tonight's live stream is between Wayne Wilgris and Lee Harris. And the winner of this match actually goes on to book their place in the last 16. Because both of these players are in the same group, and of course, playing each other. But also, they are equal on points. So it depends who wins this game, which will determine who actually goes through to tomorrow's game, which will be the last 16. So it's 3 1 at the moment to Lee after four ends. For those of you that have stuck around most of the day, I hope you've enjoyed today's games and today's live streams from here at. Potter's Resorts in Hopton on Sea in Norfolk has some really good games. Uh, first stream was this morning at half past nine, and then again at 11 a.m. And then at half past one, three o'clock, half past four, and now half past seven. So this is the sixth live stream we've done today, and tomorrow will be very similar. So if you would like to stay up to date, then make sure you're subscribed to Bowls TV so you get notified of all the future games that are coming up in the future We do also have a Facebook page called Bowls TV, the same as our YouTube channel, so you can pop over there if you like and follow along. And that is mainly where we post all of our streams. The other Facebook group that you can also join, where you can also find out lots more information on our streams moving forward, is Bowls Talk Norfolk. Plus, you get to interact, and there's lots of people part of Bowls Talk Norfolk. So another really good Bowls Facebook page that you can join if you wish to. Uh, great bowl by Wayne. So two ends left to go in this first set then. So seven ends sets. And this is really the business end because Wayne really does need to score in this end. He needs to pick up really at least 
a two, I would say, to give himself the best chance on the last ends. Wayne definitely needs to win this end anyway, so whatever happens, Wayne needs to win this end. Oh, is that? Oh, no, I thought that was going to push that in all the way for shot. No, it looks like it's still Wayne. Looks like there's still Wayne holding one. I don't really think Wayne has got much else on here apart from just a draw really just for just a draw for second bowl well he's certainly trying here ah uh, what a bowl yeah uh, well played Wayne brilliant stuff yeah so Wayne picks up a two, so that's exactly what he needed going into the last ends. So after six ends, Wayne is now uh, three four, three four down. So whatever happens, Wayne has to win this end. Even if he gets a one, he's going to draw the set, which is fine. But he just needs to win the ends. And Lee, on the other hand, if he can afford to drop a one and still not lose it. Ah, good start by Lee. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Well, Wayne is trying here. What an effort this is. Well played. Yeah, he, he hit that. Perfect. So he just pushed Lee's bowl out the way and he sat in for shot. So, yeah, big bowl that on this last end. And Lee's not a million miles away either. Is he going to use his own? And oh, a great effort. I still fancy, from this angle anyway, it looks like Wayne's. Well, it depends what Wayne fancies here. Whether he draws in on his forehand again to try and close it all down, or does he does he play his backhands and just come just round his own his own shot bowl and just come through 18 inches or so? 
and he's just inside his own. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good ball there. It's kind of too, it's taken the shot away that I think Lee was about to play. He was going to play, I think, on the other side and just arrive into that gap. There was a lovely little funnel in there. But that might have forced Lee now onto the other hands. So there's, there's still a bit of a gap in there if, if Lee can get into that gap. Yep. Here he comes. Oh, very close. So the way it lays at the moment, Wayne is going to be winning this first set. But Lee still has one ball left to come. The great thing about bowls is that it's like a game of chess sometimes. Depending what you do will then depend what your opponent does. So you can you can sometimes change their minds and sometimes give them an easier shot if you play a different shot. So it's just like a game of chess sometimes. So Wayne has just come round the back. Yeah. Well, that certainly hasn't made it any easier for Lee. So here he comes again. Oh, is he going to get back? Oh, no, he's Oh dear. That's two. Yeah, I think that's two to Wayne. Well, what a turnaround that was. We'll just wait for confirmation to see if it was definitely two to Wayne, because if it, if it was, then Wayne has just nicked that set by one shot. But we'll find out in just a second. Yep, yeah, that was. So the first set goes to Wayne Wilgris. So he managed to claw his way back into that set after a bit of a slow start. And it pulled out some really good bowls. Good start by Lee. So Wayne takes the first set, 5-4. But we now start again for the second set. Well, that was a good reply by Wayne. I don't know if it's the shot, though. Very hard to say even from where I'm sat. I'm only one rink away from their actual game, but I think it might still be Lee's. Oh, great effort again by Lee.
and Lee is trying here. That could be number two. No well played. So it looks like, from where I'm sat anyway, it looks like Lee is holding at least one or two. What's he done here? Oh, I don't think that would have made too much difference though. Even if he'd have sliced that jack, I think he would have still been la laying at least one. So yeah, Lee grabs the jack. So Lee picks up a two in that last end. Yeah, uh, good start again by Wayne. He's come one again. Yeah, another great bowl. Well, if Lee's got the pace, he's very close here. Wayne is laying two. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what Lee plays here because he's got nothing through the head at all. All three of his bowls. I mean they're not that short, they're only, I mean his furthest bowl is two feet. I 
man, there is a nice. Oh, there's a nice draw on the on the uh, backhands. That's what he's going to play. Don't really think he had many other options. In all honesty, great effort, really good effort. Yeah, Wayne still lays two. So Wayne just trying to add another straight into that little funnel. He's just going to pull up a couple of feet. So it's two to Wayne that ends. Well, that's finished okay. Pace is not bad at all. It's just a little bit wide. It's probably only about seven inches through. Wayne like this one. You can normally tell by his body language. I think you can normally tell by most players' body language. Yeah, he's close to this. Well played. Another one in. And a little bit of chalk as well. So Lee is playing down at this. So Wayne is holding two shots by the looks of it. It could be three, but it's a definite two. I think he'll be lucky he'll be looking to tuck this away, I think. If he can just tuck this around the corner. Oh, he's just missed it. Well, it's a bigger target now, but the thing is Lee doesn't have anything in the back, so all Lee really has is to limit the damage, or if he, if he goes for the jack, jack in the ditch for one. If he's tight, he might take a couple out. I think he could be four down here. Tell you what. He's not a million miles away. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what an effort that was. Uh, well, that could be... Yeah. Not the best results. He was probably... 
half an inch of hitting that jack square straight into the ditch. Well, they've taken one of Wayne's bowls out, so I'm just going to measure now for the next. We're just going to wait until they update the scoreboard. We don't know exactly how many Wayne got that ends. He definitely got one. Well, he got he picked up a two. Good start by Wayne. His first bowl over about the last five or six ends has been very good, but then again, Lee has just replied with another brilliant bowl. So that looks like that's the shot now. Yeah, another good ball by Lee. That's finished very well there. Still a little bit of a target for Wayne. But he's already lost one ball in the ditch. His second ball, he just played up to it. But he lost that one. So I don't think he's going to be wanting to lose another one. Oh, good chance here. And he's got it. Oh, well played, Wayne. Yeah. To be honest, there was a nice little target there. Well, you're not going to be able to see that, but Wayne's bowl has landed about nine inches from the jack in the ditch. So it's not right on top of it, it's beatable, but it certainly isn't easy. So Wayne currently laying one shot. And Wayne has just drew second bowl. So it looks like Wayne is now holding two. So in a very strong position in this second set now. After just three ends, he's 4-2 up. He's currently laying two shots here. So this could be a crucial end for Lee 
Maybe we should drop a two at this stage. So he's he's playing straight through. So he did limit the damage. He took Wayne's ball out, so Wayne still picks up a single. So Wayne picks up a single and extends his lead from 4 2 to now 5 2. Yeah, good start by Lee. Is that enough? Is that going to fall? If that drops, that will definitely be the shot, I think. But at the moment, it's very close. So, don't forget, everybody, we will be live from tomorrow morning at 9.30 so tune back in again for our first game tomorrow which will be the next stage of the grand final here at Potters which will be the last 16 so the first live stream will be coming up at 9.30 a.m. well what an effort uh, just pulled up. It's hard to say who actually holds here because from one angle on the camera it looks like Lee, but from where I'm sat on the green it, it looks like it could be Wayne. Well, I think Wayne is going to be playing onto Lee's bowl here because if he pushes that out, that's going to be worth three shots and that could be the end of the match. Or just push his own and he's done it, yeah. He's done it, w well played. So he had a, yeah, that was a, a good, good bowl in there because he had a couple of options. If he was just round those bowls, he was onto Lee's and he was going to sit for three. If it was a little bit tighter, then he did exactly what he just did there he just rolled his own so yeah a bit of a percentage shot there great ball and Lee's after these here he comes oh and he's got it yeah looks like he's got it 
Yeah, good hit. So looks like Lee just picked up a single on that last end as far as I can see at the moment. I don't think it was a two, I think it was just a single. So the score is now 5-3, so Wayne wins the first set 5-4. And this set he's 5-3 up with two ends left to play. So Lee needs to win th this end to keep in this match yeah not a bad start by Lee yeah great reply Wayne well played a bit of chalk as well I think I think this umpire is going to be running out of chalk soon. Wow, another great bowl. Another bit of chalk. Here he comes. Well, I think Wayne's bowl it went it went back, but then it looked like it just rocked back in again. So I think Wayne is still holding one at the moment, but Lee is, is desperately trying to pull something out here to win this end because if he loses this end, that's going to be a big ask for him. And Wayne sits and gets a back toucher. Yeah, what a bowl. Well played. I know you can't see too much on this particular camera angle. I do apologise. just because we can't actually zoom in at the moment with the equipment that we have. But we will be able to do that within the next couple of weeks. So that's it then. Although we will continue this game in normal circumstances, in normal circumstances, we you would have just finished this game now because there's no way Lee can now win. But because we're at the group stage, you, you, you have to uh, continue to play up to the very last bowl and the very last ends because of the shot difference. That is the rule. They are the rules and that's what they've been doing all day. So it looks like Wayne picked up, yeah, I was going to say, it was, it was only up on a six on the scoreboard, but yeah, so seven. So Wayne picked up a two. So that is it, seven, three, and five, four. However, they're just going to be, Wayne's just going to be messing around now on the last end because he knows he's through. Hence, he just tried to ditch the jack. So Wayne's through to the last 16. Yeah, they're just having like a bit of fun on the last ends. Who can ditch the jack first? They're probably playing for a pint. So Wayne is through, last 16. So well done to Wayne Wilgris. 
great effort by Lee Harris. It was a good game, and the first set is is probably. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's just middled it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first set was really close, and Wayne just managed to get through by picking up a two on the last ends by winning it. Uh, he won it 5-4, and he was 3-4 down going into the last end on the first set. Second set, Wayne come out of the gates really strong, and he was playing very well. He pulled out some really big bowls against Lee. So Wayne goes on to win both sets. He won the first set 5-4, second set 7-3 so far, but this is the last end. But as I said, they don't really need... Wayne doesn't really need to do much because he's already now through to the last 16. But they just have to play out all these ends as per the rules. So well done to Wayne. So if you do want to watch Wayne tomorrow, then tune back in tomorrow daytime here at Potter's on Bowls TV on YouTube and you can watch Wayne some more as he tries to get through to the quarterfinal. So Wayne is now through and after tonight we will know all of the other players that have made it through to the last 16. So today has been the group stage playoffs and then tomorrow is the last 16. That will be the first game, then it's a quarter-final, semi-final and then final. So tomorrow morning we're going to be live bright and early from 9.30 a.m. I believe, unless there's been any change of times best thing to do is go to our YouTube channel Bowls TV and you can see what time our first stream will be I will be creating the stream maybe later today maybe tonight when I get home so if you go to the YouTube channel click on the link where it says live and then anything that's coming up in the future you will see it there and it will say notify me or stream coming up and and you'll see what what game will be coming up tomorrow morning at 9 30 a.m thanks everybody for watching and tuning in all day i i hope that you've enjoyed the games for those of you that have stuck around and watched most of today's games it's been a fairly good day we had a few technical hiccups first thing this morning but after that from this afternoon i feel like the streams have been okay they've been you know the pitch has been good audio has been good we've got some nice swanky new shiny headsets which we've been testing out today and they seem to be working really well scoreboard is working good as well so uh, yeah generally it's been quite a successful day i think so lots more coming up tomorrow lots more great games So Nathan Pollard just asks me, can we make can we make the um, end number slightly smaller because it's distracting? Well, Nathan, we will do what we can. I'm adjusting it right now. So let's put it back in the box. Yeah, the reason why we keep it quite big is just to fill that box because it's a big empty white space so we can try to make it a bit smaller I guess than that how about that so how about this so have a look now see what you think made the ends number a little bit smaller just for you Nathan No 
you go, buddy. Let's make maybe a little bit smaller. So there we go. So Wayne wins two sets to nil, five four and seven three. I don't know what happened on that last end, but you know we'll just call it seven three. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today. It's been a long day. Me and Glenn have been have been here since ten past eight this morning. So it's been a long day. Uh, Twelve and a half hours we've been here in front of our laptops, but it's been worth it because we've covered some good games, and I really feel like we've made some good progress on our YouTube channel with our streams with our new software and all our new equipment so yeah it, it's all good it's all good there's still some games going on tonight at the moment but of course we can't stream anything else because the show rink is on rink 5 and we don't want to go down and start moving cameras around so that'll be it for the streaming for today and we will be back bright and early tomorrow at half past nine Glenn won't be here until the afternoon, so that'll just be me. I'll be on my lonesome till early afternoon. But the first dream will be 9.30 a.m. So don't forget Bowls TV on Facebook, Bowls Talk Norfolk on Facebook as well. You can, that's another good place that you can join and interact. And if you want to, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well very much appreciated we have lots of games on our YouTube channel if you ever get bored and fancy some games that you'd like to watch we've got lots of different games we've streamed over the last four months so have a look on there you can watch them on your TV on your iPhone iPad whatever you like so that is it for today guys we will see you hopefully again tomorrow on the first stream uh, and we're going to be at the last 16 stage here at Potter's Resort for the grand final of the open singles grand final 2023 so thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed today and we'll see you in the morning take care <laughs>